somewhat late segment is somewhat late. Actually, uh, I don't remember the castle, like, at all. So I'm not sure how to get the secret exit, so I'm going to grab the shell just in case that's what I need. It probably is. Alright, now let's see what we've got here. Okay, level's over. Can't see what's up there. Looks like there's a ceiling, though. Gotta keep watching for places to go up. Like, eh, but I'm afraid to ride it up all the way because that could end badly. Okay. I'm not sure if it's better to plan ahead so then I don't screw up a lot, or if it's better to not plan ahead so then I do screw up a lot and it'll be more official looking and non-rehearsed and shit. So I just don't prepare at all. Okay, um, I'll go this way, I suppose. Oh no, how will I ever know which spikes will fall? It's like I want to be the guy. It's completely unpredictable. Those weird thing. Those things always, like, bothered me, because they don't really seem that sharp. It's just sort of this, like, semi-sharpened piece of wood coming down at you. I don't know what's up with that. I probably went completely the wrong way. We'll see. This leads us... Oh, okay, so... Wait, this is... This is the down path, I see. And can I go down the pipe again, or... Yeah, it's a one-way thing, so... I gotta get... I'm assuming a P-switch from that block, but I'm checking what's ahead first. Uh, wait, oh god, don't collect all the coins. That would be bad. Uh, I better drop it over here, just so that it doesn't get stuck in a ceiling. I seem to recall that being possible. And then you go all like a herp. Figured that was a flower. I guess I'll grab it. Oh god, almost out of time already. So, do we have secret X? Oh god. Ah. Okay, right now I think my biggest enemy is the time limit. Uh, not gonna make it in time. I've got simultaneous platforms again, I don't know which one to take. Probably missed something down there. Okay, any time now, level... Oh, God. No! No, certain doom. This was not what I planned for. No! Uh, uh, that was gay. Okay, um, I guess I'll off-screen to that point again. Unless I find another Yoshi coin, in which case I'll show that. Okay, back to this point. I checked ahead, and the last coin is in fact over here, and that'll lead to the normal exit, which I could take, so I will. Yeah. Not sure why. Anyway, easiest boss ever, even though I think I said that about Iggy. They're both very easy. I always wondered why Morton Jr. is a junior, though. Does that mean that Bowser's first name is Morton? So is that like Morton Bow Bowser in quotes Koopa? Or, I don't know. Whatever, it's not worth thinking about. Because the Koopalings had different names in the cartoon, anyway. And then they just sort of disappeared. I hear that they're going to be in uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but I haven't really looked into that at all. 
so now we move on to Water World, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to redo the castle. Uh, if you didn't know, you can replay castles by holding L and R. You can do this in the original game too. I figured that out on my own actually, just somehow. And on an almost related note, I once had a dream when I was really young about a uh, Mario Paint. Like, if you had the mouse plugged into the first controller place, but then a regular controller in the second place, and you held L and R, then it would, like, unlock all these secret tools to draw with. I don't remember what those tools were, though. Mario Paint was cool, though. Okay, let's get up here. And basically doing what you've already seen. Awesome. Except this time I gotta remember to not take the death path. Let's get up there. And I wanna test something here, so let me rewind if I need to. Oh, okay, I guess you can drop the enemy. Ah, crud. Uh, I wanna rewind, but uh, I said that I wouldn't. I'll get a mushroom from here anyway. I'll be fine. I don't think I need a cape. Would be nice, but I don't need one. So basically, same thing as last time, except I gotta remember to stay on the lower one. Damn it. Is this where they meet up? Yes, okay. It's stupid that they have a path that just kills you. How are you supposed to know which one to take? I mean, I was talking about I want to be the guy earlier. That's an I want to be the guy sort of thing. Okay, this... I think I just need to bounce off him to get up there. And do we have the key? Yes, indeedy we do. That wasn't so bad, aside from the death trap. And we have Star Road, and which I'm not going to do. And uh, because I have this broken into two parts now, I don't know how I'm doing on time, but I will give Waterworld 1 a shot. I will not be taking Yoshi because I don't like him that much. Oh yeah, I remember that. Is this... is there a pipe at the bottom? Yeah. Thought there was. Not gonna whistle the song. Damn it! That was stupid. It would be cool if I had brought the Goomba with, because then I could, like, carry it throughout the level, and that makes you swim faster. But then again, it would probably come alive in my hands again, and I'm not sure if you can even carry enemies underwater. I know you can carry, like, shells and P-switches and keys and stuff, but I don't know about stunned enemies. Anyway, this seems to be a fairly standard stage. No sort of stupid tricks in it. Aside from the hidden exit, which isn't really a stupid trick, because they tell you about it at the beginning. So, we just go... and try to not fail, and where the hell is the fifth coin? Because I think this is the end of the level. Is it here? Well, I know you, well, you just go back in the pipe, and then you come out again, and then... Wait, is that what you do? For the secret exit? I thought that's what you did. I have no idea. Let's see. Okay, I guess that was the standard exit. I'll look into that next time.